All right, guys. Well, it is a new day. The video, the last video you saw, we shot a Malax last night. On the way off the lake, hit a big wave, and uh, trolling motor deployed and shattered pretty much everything inside of Mitch's brand new trolling motor. And that's just what happens when you fish big water and you use gear hard. Um, you just can't avoid these things. But we're on a trip, we're flying by the seat of our pants, what do you do? Um, so we've actually, we're freaking out because it's impossible to find anything this year. Trolling motors, graphs, rod motors, it's impossible to get stuff. And uh, we lucked out, we were here at Libex Marine, um, right by Isle, Minnesota. And, uh, he came down here and he had a 72 inch Altera in stock. Unbelievable. And he even rigged it up for us in the parking lot. So definitely wanted to give a shout out to this guy. Um, this place if you're in, uh, if you're fishing Malax and you know, stuff catastrophically breaks, which it often does to me, um, you know, stop in, he can probably figure it out for you. But um, anyways, like I said, we're flying by the seat of our pants. It is a new day. It's probably about 11 o'clock now. We're talking about going to Leech. We're talking about, we, we don't even really know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna get in the truck, make up our mind where we're gonna go, and hopefully put a fish in the boat by the end of the day. All right, so as I was sitting here editing this video, I realized that it was absolutely all over the place, out of chronological order. So I need to kind of get you guys up to speed on basically what happened. We basically went to Leech to fish for muskies, and we did fish for muskies. And uh, Mitch had a big bite. We moved some big fish, but in the short amount of time we were there, we did not uh, cap capitalize and put a fish in the boat. But the conditions looked better for walleye fishing, so that's what we did. And we actually found a place um, last second called Horseshoe Bay Lodge. I felt incredibly lucky to find this place because I called them up obviously on 30 minutes notice and uh, they have plenty of fisher friendly uh, for fishermen friendly like hotels motel style rooms if you're just coming up to fish they have bigger cabins bar restaurant gas at the lake big harbor huge score very central launch point out on leech um, so I figured I kind of wanted to plug them because we get asked all the time basically uh, you know from you guys um, you know hey I'm going up to here where should I stay you know what's a good spot on the lake stuff like that definitely check these guys out I'll go ahead and link them down below horseshoe Bay Resort but basically what happened is we started doing a little bit musky fishing um, it was flat calm out we decided to go to walleyes and uh, here's what happened here's how we found them here's how we caught them all right we are hooked up and uh, I think we definitely got the right fish I just kind of got everything set up around a kind of a big um, very long rock to sand transition here about 13 to 17 feet ooh ooh feels right tell them what we're doing right now though and why we're doing it oh we're actually walleye fishing obviously if you guys didn't figure that out um we started out obviously doing some musky fishing and it looked really good we saw fish um not following our lures unfortunately but then now look how it looks i mean have you ever seen leech lake when it looks like this out not very often I do not have a ton of confidence in catching a muskie right now on a lake I know nothing about for muskies when it looks like this. But walleye confidence out here, very high for me. Even though I've been here very few times, uh, realistically. He's taking some line. This is a froggy, very froggy fish. Got that drag just barely set so it's pulling out at two miles an hour. These fish can really pull. All right, I think he's coming up. Oh yeah, too cool. Absolutely love it. One of my favorite things to do, and you know, you might be like, oh, you guys just filmed a leg core video on the lax. Well, it's just so effective. It is such an effective way to position crankbaits. Look at that. Just like that, fish in the boat right away. And you know, yesterday we were obviously on the lax filming a walleye video doing this similar thing but the location of where we're doing this is very different from basically what we were doing yesterday. So we'll go into a little bit of that, but I'll show you guys this one here. This is just on a little blue shad wrap. And holy cow, is he a and spunky that one? took about three minutes. Yep, I literally just got set up, was messing with the GoPro, and we got a fish on right away. Sometimes I wish this was Hayward. Yep, I don't know if this is like a fluke <laughs> thing. We'll find out, okay. but uh, there we go. Beautiful Leech Lake walleye. Just a bread and butter fish right there. About a 19 incher, perky as can be. Let's let him go. Back to the depths, little buddy. There he goes. Back down to his little rock transition. Got it. All right, so we might as well just roll the camera live, I think, by this point. We uh, just let the first walleye go. I'm literally still letting out the lead on the 
the rod we just caught a fish on, and the rod on the other side of the boat goes off. And uh, it feels like another froggy little walleye. I don't think it's super big, but I mean, for fishing for all of about, I don't know, 10 minutes now, um, I love this place. Tough to beat. Leech Lake, Black, both phenomenal fisheries, but just tough to beat pulling cranks on a lot of this deep water stuff um, in the middle of summer. We're not actually crazy deep, but uh, um, obviously big expanse of open water out here. And we're kind of, oh, there he goes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mitchell, 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 help me. <laughs> you guys are gonna be like, man, this guy's freaking out over an 18 inch walleye. Oh, Ooh. squirrely though. Pulling hard. Oh, well, one bite though, man. Oh. <laughs> all right, you're up next. All right, I'm done. I'm done reeling in all the fish. All right. But uh, yeah, obviously crazy quick action. Super healthy fish. I mean, you can't complain about just stocky 20 inches no matter where you go. Hooked right on the outside of the mouth. And I think we just kind of lucked into getting the color right. We're running a straight blue um, and a blue chrome here. I got to pick this crankbait up a little bit because it's just barely ticking bottom. But there we go. Another beauty. Too simple. Too effective. Just working right, working really good right now. We'll let him go. Beautiful, healthy fish. Leech is definitely known for that. Very stocky, healthy fish. So I want to kind of show you guys one really easy way to kind of, uh, you know, basically make sure you're always running that bait exactly where you want, right? We're fishing like 15 feet of water and we want that bait real close to the bottom because these fish, we're not marking them real good. So I know they're right down in the rocks. They're very close to bottom. They're kind of hiding in some of this bigger rock. So one thing you can do is I kind of got this out now. So I'm going to send it out a little bit farther, right? I'm just going to send out like another 10 feet here and I'm going to close that. Now what's going to happen is we're going to watch, kind of watch our rod tip and you can, I don't know if you guys can really see it right now. It's just barely, barely ticking bottom right now, right? I can just kind of see it once in a while, I go boom, 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 boom. And I definitely don't want to be touching bottom a lot out here because uh, it's real snaggy with a lot of zebras, I think. Um, so basically all I'm going to do is reel this thing in, I don't know, five feet. If it ticks once in a while, that's okay, but I don't want this thing dredging bottom. And just kind of doing it like that, um, you know, where you kind of drop it back a little ways, watch where it ticks bottom, and uh, reel in a little bit. It's a super, obviously, is the easiest way to know exactly where you are in the water column. Knowing that dive curve is obviously good, and saying, okay, in this depth of water, I, two miles an hour, I want to be running 75 feet back. Um, that's really good to know, obviously, just to kind of get you going, but a lot of times, you know, um, it's super easy just to drop that thing back a little bit farther, and then I'll see where you're taking, reel in a little bit till you're just barely once in a while bouncing and anytime you can get that thing to just kind of tick bottom once in a while very effective you can just imagine you know a bunch of walleyes down there close to the bottom and say they see that crankbait going by kind of deflects off a rock like that big time triggering aspect so that's kind of what we're trying to do um, keeping it simple not making anything too complicated moving real fast down these uh, uh, rock and sand transitions and catching walleyes doing it all right Tom was nice enough to let me reel in this tiny fish is it small so thank you Tom I don't know. Have, how many times do I say, hey, it feels like a big one and it's 12 inches? And All the time, and then we just play it off, we play it off, we play it off, and then it's like right by the boat. And it's like, oh, well, it's 30 inches. I don't think that's the case. And then we all scramble from the net and get it off, and then I'm like, dude, how did you not know that was a decent fish? Yeah. I do lose a lot of monster fish. But for incredibly minimal amount of work, we are catching fish. Just a Perfect calm night too. I know, amazing. Oh, let me grab the net. A little feisty guy. Oh yeah, nice pudgy little walleye here. Nothing real big, but I'm getting them. Perfect little 16 inches. Oh my god. There we go, Mitchell. She's pretty. Getting her done. Getting. Heard done. And that little SR5 is catching. That actually might be a six. I don't know. I'm not a big shad wrap guy myself. Look at this tank. Big in. That's, that's a, a monster. But we'll take it. That's what we're here for. Catching all eyes. And it's happening. Okay. This might actually be a big fish. Look at that. You got a shot of that, Tom? Yeah, I'm going to slow this way down here. Wow. And it actually it really feels like a walleye, too. Like a big walleye. I got a slowed way down. 
Maybe reel that one in. Yeah, just so we don't get hung up in anything here. Wow. I was just saying how easy of a pattern this is. And how much you like lead core? No, easy lead core fishing is, how effective it is. You're in. Wow. Hopefully this is the one we're after. Yeah, we're hoping for a walleye and not a pike here. I don't think it's a pike. The way it hit, it was like boom, boom, it now hit. it's just weight. Uh, but the head shakes were very walleye. Very slow and pronounced. But it was just pulling line. This is our big one. This is our crucial kicker fish we need for the Just video. don't talk because I don't want to lose it. <laughs> I'm going to get us going just a little bit. All right, what bit. is this fish doing? Swimming towards us. Maybe he was just really angry right away. I don't know. I just calm down. That's a walleye. I, I think it is a good walleye too. Oh yeah, he's a good one. He's cheek hooked, so yeah, he's feeling wild. really big. Well, it's not, not a tank, but it's weird. Look at that though, another nice one. Oh man, is he angry. <laughs> so healthy though, dude. Yeah. Such healthy fish. Well, it wasn't the monster that we thought, but every time hook kind of weird. Every time I'm on Lee, it's just the quality. Um, of the size of fish you get is, I mean, they might not be super long, but man, are they thick. Yeah, very. So healthy. All right, look at this. Just a perfect, perfect fish. Nice and thick. Very like light colored walleyes out here compared to Hayward, it seems like. Yeah. And much more feisty. So. Yeah. Look at this day, look at that fish. Look at your shorts, I mean, just perfect. It's all perfect to me. It's perfect. Get this little tank back in the water. Hopefully catch another one. I'll bet we will catch another one. And Considering we hardly See you later, dude. So basically where we're fishing out here is really pretty simple. Now, I was actually up here in July, um, so I kind of had an idea of where there was a lot of fish, and uh, I expected these fish to kind of shift around quite a bit since then, obviously, uh, which they have, but basically, one thing you find out here in, on Leech is a lot of times these fish are a shallow water fish, um, at least just in my experience, and uh, another thing to keep in mind, it, or one thing that seems very common out here on these larger um, lakes that are very sandy and very rocky, is that these rock transitions are a huge deal. Deal, right and a lot of these reefs out here the top might be like 8 feet 10 feet 12 feet 13 feet and it'll kind of break out to like 15 16 17 feet and then it'll turn to sand and that's basically where we're trolling right where it breaks out hits the, the flat in like 17 18 feet and it turns to sand and we're just butted right up to the rock where it goes into that stuff and look at that right there There's take that fish. one that is right where that fish came from oh, look at that right on cue just like we want it to happen. I don't think it's a really big fish, but I don't think it's so a very either. fun pattern. But it's a fish. I don't know what's going on here. Just blasting shad wraps down these transitions. But like I was saying, um, basically you can set your hummingbird up to fish very clean like this. So here's the top, this is all thick rock. Where I am running down this transition right here, this is all sand outside of me from there. And these fish are sitting right on that transition just like this guy was is he coming to life here now yeah. nice walleye nothing crazy big but good numbers of fish and they just fight out here they just don't stop pulling whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> there we go almost messed it up those little guys like to fight <laughs> we'll give you a look all right, not a bad way to finish the day after having a broken trolling motor, but guess what? We're back out here on the water. Last fish, now we're gonna go, what, cast for muskies for yeah. an hour? Gotta try to catch something really See if really it exciting. happens, see if it happens. All right, guys, well, that is gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed watching this quick little walleye segment. Um, you know, we did, a, a, obviously, a lead core thing on Mille Lacs yesterday, and uh, the only reason we really started doing that is because we obviously had a lot of water to cover to find fish, and number two, it's just a deadly effective way to catch fish, um, especially in Minnesota here, where I feel like I'm limited, you know, obviously, it's one rod for Mitch and one rod for me. Um, so it's a very surgical way to do this. It's no planer boards, it's just two down rods covering a very specific depth at a very specific area of that spot. Um, so very effective, but hopefully, guys enjoyed watching this um, we got some muskies to catch hopefully this evening here Mitch is just dying to get cast and I'm like dude we got to get this walleye video done but yeah we're gonna go cast for some muskies thanks for watching I think we're gonna be up here tomorrow too so we might do another video but I appreciate you guys watching if you're not yet please subscribe stay tuned for more it's musky time